Hi guys, welcome back to Fabric Friday where we do style analysis, style illustration, fabrics and everything in between. And from the thumbnail guys, you guys already know the spicy style. You guys already know what is going down because this style speaks elegance. The designer is Vicky James on Instagram and the model here is Tumi K.A. She wore this for the Vicky James gala and when I saw this I'm like this designer is so creative. So I'm just going to walk you through step by step on how this dress was made, the fabric and other things that made this dress to come out really beautiful and of course an illustration because what is Fabric Friday without illustrating to you how this dress was cut and how it was sold. Let's get into it. <music> my phone so let's start with the fabric as we always do here on fabric friday let us start with the fabric and this fabric is just a lace fabric yeah it's a lace fabric that is embellished with pearls and some beads yeah for my end if i zoom in a little bit i'm seeing some pearls and some beads i don't know if there are rhinestone on this fabric but guys this fabric is so beautiful the color is so beautiful as well i use this color for my wedding this was what my ashwabi girls wore on my wedding day and it's just it sits very well on whether you're light skinned whether you're dark skinned whether you're somewhere in between there's no way you wear this color of fabric too that you don't look nice so the fabric top notch 10 over 10 the model 10 over 10 right now let's just go into analyzing this style so the fabric is a lace fabric and of course it was accessorized organza fabric or there's this one some people call it zip bonnet a budget it looks like a, a, it looks like an organza fabric where it's way thicker than an organza fabric and it's not too soft for a two fabric they are just something in between like that like that in the market but this fabric was access accessorized okay with some organza fabric uh, the waistline and on the neckline so let's just start with analyzing this style because you guys know that when it comes to copying a style or recreating a style if you understand how the pieces of the outfit was put together it will be easier for you to cut the style and to sew the style as against when you don't even have an idea whether it's a gown whether it's a skirt and blouse whether it's a trouser or you guys you guys understand what i'm saying so this this outfit in my own opinion is a skirt and a blouse it is not a gown and the reason why i'm saying is a skirt and a blouse is because i looked at i looked at the initially when i saw it i'm like this thing looks like a gown to me but somewhere at the back of my mind i was like it is not a gown because this flare this um peplon on the waistline is too full for it to be a gown Okay, because the, the, whoever is sewing it is going to have a lot of issues, especially when they want to strap it in, when they want to make sure it's well fitted and all that. So I just I and I had to do some digging, and when I dug around the the and when I dug around the designer's page, I found out that it was skirt and a blouse, and I was happy because I guessed right. So if you are thinking that this, let me know in the comment section if you thought this was a gown. Let me know in the comment section. Let me also know in the comment section if you knew straight out that this was a skirt and a blouse. Let's know ourselves. So if you thought it was a gown, leave a pink emoji. If you thought it was a skirt and a blouse, leave a green emoji. Okay? Now, this is a skirt and a blouse. And this skirt, let's just start with the skirt. This skirt is a straight skirt. It's not a mommy skirt. It's a straight long skirt okay and it has a long slit behind because it's a long skirt they have to be a long slit behind so that you can easily walk in it whoever is wearing the dress can easily walk in it and yes this blouse is not a corset blouse it is not a corset blouse it is a basic bust here okay but one thing i can tell you for sure is i feel this basic bustier has some boning in it and the basic bustier already also has already made cups okay that's why from afar because of how the the seam line of the basic bustier is looking and of course it has some boning and it has already made cups you would think it has it is a corset no it is not a corset this blouse looking at it here the neck width for me will always be four inches from what I'm looking at here, it doesn't look like it's five inches. It looks like it's four inches. And the neck depth also looks like it's around three inches to four inches for me. Somehow, I want to believe that the neck depth 
for this blouse is three inches i don't know why i'm not playing around four but i really feel it's three inches let me know what you think in the comment section so like i said this is a basic bustier and the back of this this dress doesn't have a zip it has lacing the sleeve here just extended by i think about one inch or 1.5 inch it doesn't even look like 1.5 inch let's say the sleeve extended by one inch away from the normal shoulder point so for me if you want to cut this dress you can see that it is the short sleeve the sleeveless did not stop at the shoulder point so you might want to extend your shoulder point in away from the shoulder you might want to extend your shoulder point by one inch then slant it into your armhole now this is fabric friday and we do illustrations here in this video so i'm just going to quickly show you how to cut the blouse and how to cut the skirt okay cut the skirt we have this paper on a fold and i'm going to go ahead to mark my waist my hips and the uh, hemline if you don't know how to cut a basic skirt i have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to cut a basic skirt i'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box so i'm marking the hemline now now when you get to the hem if you want your skirt to be a little pencil you are going to minus one inch from the circumference of your hips or two inch from the circumference of your hip and mark that at the hemline depending on how pencil you want the hemline of the skirt to look like okay now this is what the fr front part looks like it's very easy to cut a busy skirt and that's what i just showed you here so i went ahead to cut out the part we don't need this is the front part we're going to go ahead to cut the back part and i've already highlighted where my zip allowance is meant to be and just like i did for the front part i'm going to go ahead to mark my waist circumference of my hips and of course the hemline if you're drafting a pattern you can just use your tracing wheel to trace out your measurement and you just connect your markings together okay so now i've connected my markings together for the back part and this is what we have here for the back part now from the hemline i'm going to go up sometimes i stop out my new point or two inches above my new point for where to so tell you how long my slit is going to be so when you join the back part you're going to have something like this so this is the back and the front of this skirt okay it's very easy to cut and to sew like i told you guys okay now i'm just going to go ahead to cut the bustier i told you that this blouse is a basic bustier with um cups okay so i'm just going to go ahead to mark my neck width as four inches my neck depth at three inches i'm going to go ahead to mark my shoulder point Going to go ahead to mark my shoulder point and my armhole curve okay so that's just and that's what i'm just doing here if you don't know how to draft a basic bustier i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft a basic bustier here on this channel so you just check the link in the description box on how to draft a basic bustier it's very easy trust me guys it's very easy so i went ahead to mark out my my bust point my nipple point my under bust point and of course the hemline which is what i'm showing you here the next thing i went ahead to do was to insert my bust here okay it's very simple and very easy to do this if you don't know how to do it guys just check the link in the description box i have a very detailed tutorial on how to do it so now that you've inserted the bust here this um this this blouse has like a sweetheart neckline going on around the bustier you know before that illusion neck point so i'm just going to go down by one inch at that point and i'm going to carve in the sweetheart neckline okay just like that and i extended the bustier markings okay so this is what we have here <coughs> i want to cough pardon me <laughs> okay so i went ahead to mark out the the but I, <laughs> I went ahead to mark out my bust, my under bust, and my waist measurements. My camera cut me short. So the next thing I'm just going to do after this is you are going to this is a, this is the point where you are going to join and you are going to attach your your already made cups. You are going to apply rhinestones, and this is just like the easy way to cut and to sew this blouse it is very simple it is very easy it's just to join your bustiers attach your ready-made cup and your bonings i forgot to show you guys something when i was drafting the shoulder line i told you that the, for the shoulder line it was extended by one inch so i'm just showing you how the extension is done how to create yours you're just going to extend your shoulder slant 
you're going to mark one inch on both sides and you're just going to add it you know connect it to the armhole curve it's just very easy to mark okay so this is what we have here guys those red markings there is going to represent the rhinestones that is meant to rhinestones applique that you know that was applied on the bustier okay so that's the shoulder slant for this for the makeshift sleeve and of course they attach the extra cups okay they already made cups this is what we have here this was what was basically done on this dress it's very simple join your bustier put already made cups put boning if you want and apply your applique so it's time to cut the peplon and you know there are two one is short one is long are going to start with the short one and at that point you're going to just mark the circumference of your waist now this peplon is a 360 flare if you don't know what flares are or how to cut a 360 flare i also have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to cut all that i'll leave the link to that tutorial in the description box so just look at what i'm doing that was how i cut the 360 flared and i'm just going to chip out the excess that i don't need okay so i have my working piece and this is just what the front part of the of the that peplum that attached to the blouse this is what it looks like okay so this is what the front uh, front part looks like i can see for the side and the back is a it's way longer and one side is a little asymmetric so i'm just going to go in and cut out that part we don't need so you can see we have this high low effect going on here okay so this is what we have here now to cut the back part of this um, peplon i folded into four again because it's a 360 flared and i went ahead to measure out um, our working piece and connected them together now for this peplum i noticed that at some point the peplum the that's the front and the back it was layered at some point it was joined so just walk around what works well for you when you are joining yours for me i'm just going to layer lap them on each other i'm not going to join them if i make this outfit so i opened up the side and to attach this peplum together i folded it so you guys will see the whole um, um fold effect of the flare of the 360 flare so this is what we have here for the back part and like i said i'm just going to lap them together that's when i'm joining it for the front part so this is the back remember to open the back the, for the zip allowance okay remember to open the back for the zip allowance and this is the front on the back for me when i'm sewing it i'm going to layer it together i'm going to lap it together and that's just the easy way to cut the, this outfit okay now let's go ahead to on how to sew it so if you want to sew this outfit the first thing you want to go ahead to do is you want to make sure you line the lace with the with your preferred color of lining you want to make sure you top stitch it to the lace or use your hemming gum to hold it to the lace you join the first the front piece of the skirt to the back piece of the skirt you attach your zip you open up your slits if you don't know how to drop a basic skirt i have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to drop a basic skirt okay now for the blouse this is a basic bustier you literally attach the pieces of the bustier together you insert your boning or you attach your cups first whichever one works for you then you join the front piece of this dress to the back piece of the dress and the next thing you want to go ahead to do you open up your eye net you open up those holes for your eye net so that you can easily list the dress then you cut your pep go ahead to cut your peplon attach it to this blouse okay apply your rhinestones apply whatever design you want to apply and guys this is the easiest way this is the fastest way and this is the simplest way to go ahead to cut this cut this blouse and this skirt that gives you this very beautiful attire i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video bye guys